Hey everybody, what's up? And today I'm very excited to be sharing with all of you my LEGO Harry Potter display. This display features all of the LEGO Harry Potter Hogwarts castles from the year 2011 to 2018. And most of the interiors of the castles are actually modified by myself. This display features a ton of minifigures and unique Harry Potter scenes. So let's take a nice look at it. So welcome to my Lego Harry Potter display. So basically what we've got going on here is this is the Harry Potter universe and world and it is still a part of my Lego city but it's in its own separate area because it's just that special to me. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Starting down here we have Hagrid's Hut and this is the 2011 set of Hagrid's Hut and if we go behind Hagrid's Hut we can actually see the Forbidden Forest in there. There's just a whole bunch of foliage and spiders back there, along with a bunch of trees that are actually all part of the forest. Down here, I have one of my favorite little minifig displays of the whole thing. This is Newt Scamander, and he is trying to catch a baby dragon in there. And I know this doesn't actually fit with the Harry Potter universe that's set up right now in my city, since this is the time when Harry is going to school at Hogwarts. But that doesn't really bother me, I just like having all different kinds of cool stuff around the city. Next here we have a Whomping Willow, and you can see that Ron Weasley and Harry are caught in there, and the Willow does of course spin around with the car. That's the old car in there, and you'll notice that Ron's wand is broken, and that is actually down here on the ground because it just snapped off from impact with the tree. Moving back along here, this is the Great Hall of Hogwarts and attached to it is another tall tower and this is basically the same outside as the Great Hall Lego set. Looking inside of the Great Hall, there is a lot to see. First off, for the teachers, the teachers are at their table having part of the feast. We have Dumbledore in the middle and then Lupin and Flitwit on either side. There's a house cup in the background there. The banners in the Great Hall currently are showing Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw and if we look down we have four house tables one for each house Moving to the tower next to the Great Hall first off we have some Moving staircases which you can also see in Dumbledore's office Moving up this is actually part of the potions class There's a lot going on with potions and you'll see the rest of that classroom in just a moment Moving up above one more level. This is Professor McGonagall's Transfiguration Classroom. This space is very tight, so you kind of have to look closely to get what's going on here. But if you take a look, Ron and Seamus Finnegan are trying to learn how to change an animal into a cup. And you can see that Seamus completed the spell perfectly, but Ron still has his rat because his wand wasn't working. This is an insanely tight space, and it's really hard to get detail in such a small area. And moving up to the very top, you'll see that we have the room with the mirror of Erezed in there. So you can see that, and Harry's just taking a look at his reflection, and he's seeing his parents with them right there, which is pretty nice. And also, as a fun little Easter egg, behind the mirror, there's also the other set, but I also have the old mirror from the 2012 set. The doors of the Great Hall are open, so you can get a good look in there at some of the staff of Hogwarts inside of there. And over here we have Crab, who is coming out with a plate of food. Then moving along, we have the next set of towers, and these are all the towers from the Whomping Willow set. Except for you'll notice that this middle archway is much bigger, and that is so the Hogwarts Express can fit through there and ride in, just like that. I have a lot of terrain built up on the tracks there, and the track is actually elevated off of the ground. It just kind of comes up from being at ground level with the rest of the city up to about a brick high, so that's pretty cool. And you'll see that Hagrid is there to greet all of the students who are arriving. And down here we have Professor Lupin who is working with Harry on learning the Patronus charm to fight off a Dementor, so that's pretty cool in there. So let's take a look at the inside of these towers. So here is the interior of that potions room that was previously mentioned. In this first area of potions, you can see Malfoy is just working on brewing a potion. And if you come in here, you can see that this is just another room with more supplies and more ingredients for potions. 
You can also see in here that Snape is confronting Harry and telling him that fame isn't everything. Up above potions, you can see that there's a nice walkway that goes all the way along. And right here you have Harry and he's walking around late at night trying to find where Peter Pettigrew is considering he saw him on the map. This next room is kind of like a storage room for Gryffindor House and you can tell that by the banner in the back. And in here there's all kinds of chests, extra school supplies, and even a spare wand if you look closely down there. Up above is another type of storage area and this is where Harry can keep Hedwig. Hedwig's just in there in her cage and it's a nice place to keep Hedwig away from all of the other owls. Moving along this walkway you'll see that we have Lucius Malfoy and he's going for a walk and his house elf Dobby isn't following him because Dobby has just been freed because his master gave him a sock. You can see Harry's just happily in the back there. Coming along down here, this is Snape's office, and this is a very cool room. Inside there's lots of details, like a copy of the Daily Prophet. Snape also has pictures on the back of his walls, and a candle. Moving along from these towers, we head down to this next tower, which features Dumbledore's office. Starting at the ground floor of the office, there isn't all that much to see. We have a movable staircase right here. There are some paintings on the wall, and if you look in the back, you can see the trophy for James Potter as a seeker. Moving up, we get into Dumbledore's actual office and there is a lot to see in here. First off, we have Dumbledore and he's just sitting in his desk right there. On his desk, he has a crystal ball along with a printed scroll there and a magnifying glass. His chair is very fancy. And in the back on this side, you can see he has a shelf with some potions on there. Over here, Dumbledore has Fox, his phoenix, and on this side is the pensive, and you can see right now Harry is looking into the pensive, looking at Dumbledore's memories of when Barty Crouch Jr. was accused. Then when we move to the top level of the office, you can see the sword of Gryffindor. Right there, it is super shiny and a super cool sword, and also the sorting hat. And on top of the tower, you'll notice something pretty interesting. We have Wizard Batman up there. And that's kind of just to show that even though this is a Harry Potter layout and that I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, I do allow for fun and for other LEGO themes to mix because that's what LEGO is great for. Down below, you can see Dumbledore is just going outside to check out all the things that are going on at the school, including this Mandrake lesson by Professor Sprout. Here you can see she is teaching all the students about the Mandrakes and Neville actually fainted from the sound of the mandrake. Moving on from Dumbledore's office, we head to the second tallest tower in this whole display, and this tower features the common rooms. Starting off our tour of this next tower, we have the Slytherin common room. It's pretty dark in there, but you can see that there is a Slytherin banner in there, and there are two students, Malfoy and Marcus Flint, who are just hanging out in there. Up above is the hospital wing at Hogwarts. You can see there are some flowers, up above we have the Gryffindor common room and this is another room that's a little dark and I'll do my best to show you it. Inside right now we have Harry and he is talking to his godfather Sirius Black and on the table there is a copy of the Daily Prophet. Above the Gryffindor common room is the Owlry and there are lots of owls up there and currently Cho Chang is up there and she's going to be sending a letter home to her family. Other things to notice around the display is that we have Ron there with his owl pigwidgeon. We have Lucius Malfoy walking by, and here is Luna Lovegood, and I'll notice that she is reading her copy of the Quibbler. That is the new Luna Lovegood with the old Quibbler piece to show that Lego is actually timeless. And this next building is the Great Study Hall. This area had originally been used in the 2011 set as a Great Hall, but in my Hogwarts display, this is actually a study hall room. So this is a room where there are tables and students can do homework, or study. You can see Hermione is writing a letter home to her family, and on this side we have Neville and he's practicing a spell Wingardium Leviosa. This room is also where the students will take their OWL exams. Moving along, you'll see that Malfoy is definitely up to no good. He's walking around with an apple, and we have Hermione down there studying, and both of those minifigs actually go along with what goes inside of this next tower, which is the Astronomy Tower. The first thing inside this tower is another form of the Room of Requirement, and this form has the Vanishing Cabinet. 
You can also see Draco is here and he has his apple. He's trying to send the apple to Borgen and Brooks. This actually does open up and I know it's not 100% accurate with the location of this room or that the vanishing cabinet would be in its own room, but I had to do something to include it since it's such a cool build. Up here is the library and you can see that there are a ton of books in the deck there. We have brown books, black books, and even a pink book. You can see Hermione is currently studying some homework and she's reading about the spell Wingardium Leviosa. On the very top floor we have the astronomy tower and there isn't that much to see up here. There is a telescope which can be angled just like so. And up there currently is Dumbledore and Harry. And Dumbledore is giving Harry very strict instructions that he must obey him at every command even if it means killing him. Right here you can see Professor Snape is confronting Quirrell about something and passing by is Mad-Eye Moody and he's on his way to get to his office which is in our next tower. Starting by looking at the bottom of this tower we actually have more of the Chamber of Secrets down in there and then when we move up we get to the Room of Requirement and this is the room when it's in its shape for being just a trash room where everyone throws all their stuff and the details in there is very heavily based off the Room of Requirement in the UCS Hogwarts. Very happy with that one. Next up we have Defense Against the Dark Arts and you can see the skeleton hanging from the ceiling. I had to put that in there because it was the most iconic thing with Defense Against the Dark Arts. In there we have Professor Moody and he is teaching Ron about all different defenses. Then if we get to the very top we get to the office of Moody who actually, as you can see there, is Barney Crouch. You can see that on his desk he has the Marauder's Map, which he confiscated from Harry. And you can see there's a ton of potions from Polyjuice. There's also handcuffs down there from the real Moody, which is trapped. Moving right along, we get to a bridge, and on this bridge is Professor Filch, and he's just patrolling the grounds with Mrs. Norris. And as I'm going to mention in a moment, the bridge is actually part of the Chamber of Secrets underneath there. And one way you can tell that is because of this sticker that is coming on the ground here. You can see the spiders are fleeing from underneath the bridge because the spiders don't like to be around the basilisk. So that's just another fun easter egg slash detail around the layout. The bridge is very straightforward and self-explanatory. There is some more of the Chamber of Secrets down under there and the bridge can explode in case it needs to. And now to move to the final tower of Hogwarts. This tower features a couple more really cool interiors, one of which is custom 100% by me. At the very top of this tower is the divination classroom, and you can see Professor Trelawney is teaching Dean about crystal balls, and she's predicting his future. Looking down, we have the history of magic classroom, and in here we have a globe, and you can see Professor Flitwit is down there. Moving down, we enter into the girls' bathroom, and this is actually Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. You can see Hermione is in there. We have the assembly of the sinks in there. There are three sinks right there. You can see there's a little bit of water spilt on the floor, and if you look very closely in the back, there is a polyjuice potion. And if you say the parcel tongue spell, the sinks open up, and that reveals in there the passage into the Chamber of Secrets. So you can just start to see into the chamber there and you see we have a snake. Now that you've seen the interiors of all of the castle segments, we can come down to another very fun portion of the display. And this is the Quidditch area. And this Quidditch field is much bigger than my old one used to be. And zooming in, we can see that we just have all the Quidditch team playing there. We have Oliver Wood is protecting the goalposts as Marcus Flint brings the ball out. So that's pretty cool. Malfoy's flying in the back there. We have Professor Hooch just watching, and these are actually the things that shoot the bludgers. So you go like that and it'll shoot the bludger out. And right down here we have something pretty awesome. Harry Potter has just caught the golden snitch there. So he has won the game for Gryffindor, who has a cheering fan base down here with Dean Thomas, Seamus Finnegan, and there is Luna in her lion's mask right there. That's pretty cool. And that is the new LEGO Harry Potter layout. That's really all there is to see for this video. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm so proud of this display. I'm really happy with it. And I hope you all like it too. Let me know by leaving a comment what your favorite part of the display is. And I'll talk to you all again in my next video. Yeah.